Welcome back to SuperCloud 3. I'm John Furrier, Dave Vellante, wrapping up our day one of two days of live in-studio coverage. We're mixing in some sinew lives for folks who couldn't make it here. Again, we'll do whatever it takes to get the stories for SuperCloud. This is SuperCloud 3, Dave, Security Coast AI, kind of wrap up. We've got a few minutes, uh, short minutes to wrap up. Um, I just want to say before we go, we've got SuperCloud 4 coming, which is going to be dedicated to only the AI proposition. So LLMs, large language model, foundation models from computer vision to text and LLMs and how it's being deployed. So that's going to be an AI specific, all things generative AI on in October, SuperCloud 4. Mark your calendars for that, Dave. SuperCloud 3, uh, success. We got more tomorrow, live hits. We got the ecosystem speaks rolling out now. This is a real big thing. Data is a problem opportunity for security. It's a problem that creates great opportunities if you're on the right side of this. And obviously generative AI is going to accelerate it. Some skeptical positions now because it's got to be accurate as we heard from Jay Perk from Lacework. Um, and it's ironically, he comes from Facebook, so he knows data. Everyone will have a data scale like Amazon, like Facebook, like Google. If they don't, they won't have a competitive advantage. You know, John, the, the impetus behind SuperCloud was always to attack complexity. And what we're here with multi-cloud complexity and now with LLMs and of course security, we're hearing a lot of chaos. And I've, I wrote a piece a couple of years ago, chaos is cash. And so <laughs> it's cash for attackers and it's cash for, for defending companies that can you know, become multi you know, billion, tens of billion dollars in, in valuation, hundreds of billions even. Um, I think your point about speed is right on. I mean, it's, it's just compressed and it's interesting, I think, you know, uh, Rob Hof and the editorial team have been asking this question, who is going to benefit more from AI, attackers or defenders? And, and I had expected that a lot of folks in the technology world would say, oh no, we're going we're gonna to fight. Generally the consensus I would say, I'd have to say 60, 40, at least maybe 75, 25 is for the, for the attackers, yeah. right? So that's kind of scary. And I think the other thing that I heard from the, and you're hearing, you'll hear it from the ecosystem speaks is initially, the defenders had the advantage because they had most of the AI in the, in the technology factories, and now it's flipped. You know, yeah. It's pretty a dramatic advantage right now for the attackers, and it's going to take some time for them to figure out where to apply LLMs. We're hearing LLM diversity, and we're also hearing to your point yeah. that it's inconsistent, and it's maybe not the best application across the board. I think it's an important area to watch. I think the fundamental acceleration of super cloud, as well as the generative AI wave that's going to just take machine learning from the past decade and put it into a whole nother gear is going to come. Now in security, the pace of play like pro ball is a different speed than say college or high school sports, if you want to use a sports analogy. That means that impact means you can't fake it till you make it. You can't iterate, provide DevOps principles at that scale. You need accuracy, the speed of the game, the defense has to be strong and keep skating to where the puck is going to be, as we've been hearing. And that's going to impact the capital markets. It's going to impact growth rates. And it's also going to impact this platform versus tools. You brought best of breed. I thought it was a very interesting point. And we're hearing more and more that you need to be accurate, factual. You can't have a bad product in security. So you can't just say we're a platform with only a few good things. You got to have a platform with everything strong. So this is going to change the conversation space for us a little bit, Dave, in terms of as we squint through platform versus tools, which startups will make it. Um, it's going to be very interesting. And I think it's going to probably spawn a huge M&A market. We'll talk more about this tomorrow. Many, many years ago, you started using the term extract the signal from the noise. It kind of became the tagline of the, the cube. And when you hear, talk about zero trust, it, it really is the, the buzzword of the industry. David Strom wrote a piece, one of our journalists, about the challenges of zero trust. It was kind of a skeptical piece, basically saying, hey, squint through, extract the, si the, market, the, the signal from the marketing noise. Mm -hmm. People are struggling with zero trust. Practitioners, we heard it today, it's, it's partial zero trust. This is a long no Snowflake journey. VP of security basically threw under the bus by saying, you take the laptop SAML token, that breaks down zero trust right there. <laughs> so, you know. You have the playbook. You can't trust anything. Trust. <laughs> it was interesting what he was saying about our early days of ML and how that's flipped. And I think that's, I think I appreciated his, his, uh, yeah. his forthrightness because I think initially most companies were like that. Yeah, 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 another ML play. But now it's like lean in, we got to go. Great names this morning, Matthew Prince, Doug Merrick kicked us off coming out of retirement from Splunk taking over Aviatrix. Matthew Prince, co-founder, CEO of Cloudflare, George Kurtz, CEO of CrowdStrike. 
uh, Jay Shrodbury, uh, uh, founder of Zscaler and CEO, Kit Colbert, uh, John Rowe, CTO of Dell Technology, G2 Patel, Tom Gillis from Cisco, Mario Duarte, C uh, VP of uh, Security at Snowflake, uh, we have uh, Okta, Jay Parikh, CEO of Lacework, former league Akamai in, in Facebook, uh, great pedigree. What a great list of names, all weighing in um, with vision and also pragmatic advice and anecdotes around how to be on the right side of history. I think we're going to continue to explore that, that conversation around what side of the street is going to get killed? Because I really see this coming where if you're not on the right side of history on this one, um, the super cloud wave as this generative AI comes at next gen scale, the super cloud scale with AI now is just going to put it turbo boost the action. And I think this, the pace of play in this industry is going to be at levels we've never seen before, catching people off guard from VCs, investors, buyers and people themselves who think they might have a good product one day and literally the next week be out of business. Your so, pro sports analogy is right on. I mean, this is, this is not the JV. This is yeah, a big time. Yeah, and of course, the SuperCloud quarterly event series is going gangbusters. Tomorrow we got another great day. We got VMware kicking it off. We got Jay Cuthrell coming in. Vittorio Barango, he's from VMware. He was the first one to see this as, a, as a, one of the, the vendors and commercial players out there that saw SuperCloud and props to Vittorio. Vittorio saw the, what this was turning into with the momentum around it. Great vision at VMware for Vittorio Vieringo. And of course, Merritt Baer, the newly C field CISO for Lacework's coming in as well. We got, uh, we got great people coming in. Matt Garman's going to have exclusive video. He's a sales chief at AWS, former EC2, knows his stuff there. A lot of action from the silicon to the apps, Dave. Shout out for some of our supporters. We got CrowdStrike, uh, uh, Enterprise Web, uh, Hammerspace, NetApp, uh, 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 who am I missing here? Uh, vicinity and, and VMware all supporting uh, SuperCloud, so thank you. The Vicinity story is amazing. They're like, we'll move data around. So this whole notion of don't move your data, check out the Vicinity interview. I thought that was strong. Uh, a lot of great stuff. Uh, day one in the books. Enjoy the ecosystem speak. These are the people in the ecosystem, in the trenches, like our leaders, their leaders as well. Enjoy the videos and thanks for watching SuperCloud. Day one, SuperCloud three.